Well, welcome back. And uh, I have, uh, we took a little break, but I have Natalie here. She's, um, we've spoken about organic food, organic produce rather than food. Well, it is food, but it's actually a product of the land. So we're going to leave that. And I want to explore a little bit Natalie's background. Natalie, um, rather than me doing any other exploration, you told me where you, you know, where your dad comes from, your mum and dad, etc. Just to to place you in the context of the Italo Australian who speaks English, who is Melbourneana, but has that Italian blood there, and um, you've been to Italy as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell me. A little bit about yourself. Um, well, my dad, he was actually born in Italy, in Calabria, in a little town called Bianco. It's, um, it's a coastal town. It's actually a very beautiful town. When we went back to visit it, we asked him how he could have left such <laughs> a gorgeous town. And he told us that it wasn't like that back in the day. Um, he actually came over um, to Australia when he was eight. Um, my grandfather had come out earlier and tried to set up a bit of a lifestyle for the family over here, probably typical of most of Well, it was, look, let's put it in context. It was after World War II. Yeah. Uh, and even though the, the little people who lived in little towns in the south generally did pretty well during the war because they had food. I mean, yeah. they did have, but, but the opportunities for work uh, as we know it here, you know, in the industries, etc., is really relegated to the farms. So therefore, uh, people in the south generally know about the, uh, a lot about farming, uh, local farming, orchards, uh, few animals, domestic animals, goats, sheep, but, but uh, chickens, rabbits, yeah. etc. So this act of coming to Australia to a better life, to a better life. Has it happened? I think so, yeah. You're happy with, with it? Yeah, definitely satisfied with their decision, <laughs> as much as it is a gorgeous country over there. But um, I think there's, there obviously has been a lot more opportunity for them as a whole family. In here? Over, over here, yeah. yeah. And yeah. like the job opportunities, education opportunities, and then like the future prospects. They've been able to, to, to grow That's in right. this country, really. It's a question of allowing people to do things rather than to stop them from doing things. So when you have a small business, for example, uh, you know, in, the, in, in earlier decades, it was much easier to just start one and go for it. Now there are a lot of regulations and there's a lot, it's a lot more complex than it used to be. Look, Natalie, it's been a real pleasure having you here today. I want to thank you very, very much. I look forward to seeing you on Tompadula TV in some series. This one here will be our first one. We are going to concentrate on organics. We're going to explore food and drink and produce. Uh, we'll take it further. So in the meantime, once again, thanks, Natalie. Thank you. Party. <laughs> And uh, I'll see you next time. Excellent. Thank you. Ciao.
سرعت جان هستم. Thank you. 